Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Thanks for joining us on this Friday, March 3rd already. I'll have you know that March is also National Nutrition Month, the perfect time of year to remind everybody about the need to make healthy food choices. So joining us this morning with some nutritious tips is registered dietitian Francis Largeman Roth, seen on many network shows, as well as being a best-selling author of the book that you probably may know, Eating in Color. And may we say, Francis is from Salamanca, so a hometown girl done good. Hi, Francis, how are you? <laughs> Good morning, Linda. I'm great. And this is great. Listen, as a nutritionist, maybe you can help us, Francis. What are some of the best and worst nutrition choices that people make routinely? Well, what they tend to do is they tend to go all or nothing. They're looking for quick results, they go online, and they read information that may not be true and it may not be coming from a real health expert. So what I wanna do for National Nutrition Month is really inform consumers so that they can make great choices at the grocery store. All right, so why don't you give us a, a suggestion of one of your go-to uh, ideas for Nutrition Month? Absolutely. So we're all snacking so much these days. We're on the go. You need to make those snack calories count, though. They can't just be throwaway calories. So Harvest Stone crackers can help you do that because they are organic, whole grain, gluten-free, so anybody can enjoy them. And they're also non-GMO. They're the perfect canvas for all of your wholesome creations. You can put guacamole on top, aged cheeses. They are absolutely fantastic. All right. Well, since we're on the topic of snacking, do you have a favorite uh, for a nutritious snack? Well, I like to snack on fruit uh, because I want to get more color into my diet with my book, Eating in Color. Mm -hmm. I did show people how they can do that. And this month, I'm talking about purple um, and Welch's 100% grape juice made from the dark Concord grapes is a great way to do that. So you're getting the delicious flavor of the Concord grape and the heart healthy benefits of the polyphenols that are in that grape. So similar benefits to red wine, but of course, everybody can enjoy grape juice. And you know, another hometown food, you know, we're, we're pretty, pretty uh, thrilled that Absolutely. we grow all those grapes right here in Western New York. All right, well, we're on the go all the time, Francis. What about on the go food options? So we we're, we're want to get more protein in our diet, right? And we want, you know, good sources of protein. So I love bumblebee solid white albacore tuna because it comes in cans and pouches so I can grab the pouch with me and go. If I'm at home and developing recipes, only bumblebee albacore is going to do. And then if you are looking for other on-the-go options, pulses. So I'm talking about chickpeas, lentils, dry peas, and beans, and they are fantastic for you. A half cup serving has nine grams of plant protein and four times the fiber of brown rice. And just three of those servings uh, per week can actually help you with weight maintenance and also help you reach your fiber goals. So they are both fantastic protein sources. And um, if consumers are looking for more ideas and more recipes, they can go to tipsontv.com. You know, it's funny, we're hearing more about trying to um, make ourselves um, understand and appreciate a plant-based diet and that really works right into it. And for right. the fish, it's perfect for those who are observing Lent to add more fish into the diet, more omega-3 fatty Absolutely. acids and things like that. What about, Francis, some foods that we really think are healthy but are not? <laughs> Well, a lot of people are still stuck in the fat-free mentality, and so they are still buying options that are fat-free and locale. And you know, I'm thinking of things like rice cakes and fat-free chips. So again, you're kind of just wasting calories there. You're not really getting anything out of those foods. So I say skip that and go for the more nutritious options. Look for whole grains and things made with fruit and veggies. Awesome, awesome, Francis. We'll be looking for your books. Where can people go for more good info? They can go to tipsontv.com and they can also check out my website, francislargemanroth.com. Awesome. Francis, thank you so much and come on home and visit, okay? That's uh, Francis Largeman Roth. You see her on a lot of morning shows and she knows what she's talking about when it comes to nutrition. So uh, we'll have more about that later in our show too. Okay, well, I got to tell you, we've got some cold days ahead and a lot of folks woke up to even whiteouts this morning with some snow. What do you say we check your seven first alert forecast? because we probably will see on and off snow showers uh, for different people at different times for the next couple of days. And that's because today and tomorrow, temperatures stay so cold, down to 27 for today. I should say up to, and that's all we're gonna get. And then for tomorrow, after we come back up from the T,